We're in the garden today. We're gonna, we're actually gonna plant for the first time this spring. Right now we've got, this is our second row. This is the two rows we had this winter. Um, I've got it spread out to, we're doing it market garden style. So it'll be 30 inch rows and 18 inch walk waves, walkways. Right now we've got these poles tied up with string and they're marking off the edges of the rows. On the other end, we've got kale growing right now. That's just where we've cut it off from like what we grew in the winter. What are we doing next? She's the garden organizer this year, so she's got it all planned out and organized and drawn out, drawn out to perfection. So explain it. Uh, we're just gonna plant onions in the rest of this garden. In the, I had planned to put onions and then on the end spinach, but. I think we're going to need the rest of this for onions, which will work out good because we have another row down there that's going to have spinach in it. So, so we're going to start off planting onions. Here's all of our onions. Three dollars and fourteen cents <laughs> for all of the onions. Yeah. So. Versus what would you pay in a grocery store for that many onions? Yeah. In the winter too, we buy onions a lot. Like at the grocery store, I try to, I still try to buy somewhat seasonal, even though you can get whatever you want at the grocery store. But onions and potatoes are what we buy most in the winter. So I think once the summer, now that it's kind of warming up, we should stock up on onions and see how long they last, you know, stored. Yeah. And okay. then we can figure out how much we need next year in the summer and then what we can grow in the winter. Okay, let's see those that we grew this winter is not really that big right now. No, they're not. So, But they may grow a lot in the next month or so. I don't know. Yeah, this is our onions. We've got these grew all winter long. And I don't... The stems and that stuff are big on them, but the bulbs underneath ain't really that big. So these onions, we're using J.M. Fortier's book, The Market Gardener. He tells all the spacings and stuff of all the plants, or most of the plants, I guess, not all of them. But for these onions, it calls for, in a 30 inch bed, it calls for three rows, 10 inches, 10 inches apart. Once these rows are dug, we'll plant the seed, like one here and then 10 inches and another one, 10 inches and another one. So every, every bow will be 10 inches away, I guess, from every direction. From another one which our onions down there are a lot tighter than that so that may have caused them not to grow as well hopefully this doing it like this will they may grow better this is the first time we've spaced them out this far ain't it yeah because the last time we did onions they didn't grow right. we grew them from seed there's warm not the first one i've seen there's one down there too I guess one of the worst things about the wood chips is you have to move them all out of the way and get to the soil to plant. If you had this garden at all like compost, you just dig down a little bit and plant. You don't have to move anything around. But as this, as the wood chips decompose, there'll just be a small layer of wood chips on top, then you'll be right there at soil, so. Yeah, this isn't that bad. No, it ain't that oh, bad. Oh, there's but, gonna be worse. Right, because this is old garden. Right. So, I mean, year after year, it's gonna get better. So there's two of the three rows, Doug. We're gonna plant these two first and then kind of cover them up and then do that last row. Just because we've got so much wood chips kind of healed over because we had to dig, dig down to the soil, it don't have that much room for the third row. So just gonna be a little easier for us. Yeah, plant your first one. We need 10 inches. Yep. But the first one doesn't matter. Right. You want to do the roots down. Okay. That's probably given, but some people might. I didn't really think about yeah, it at first. Really. Just the figure, throw it in there. So now 10 inches. It's probably going to be easier just to have this stretched out all the way down. Can you pull that all the way down to the end of the road? Does it 
lock. Yeah. And we can count by tens. <laughs> that make your teacher self happy? Yeah. <laughs> comes after 10 when you're counting by 20s. Oh. <laughs> what gave you the answer? <laughs> that happens a lot teaching too. What comes after 20 when counting by 10, Brandon? Uh, 15. No. <laughs> you know this, come on. <laughs> We've learned this all year. <laughs> My handful was. Okay. Take their hand. There's all your onions. Okay, maybe that's a little big Can you have a green thumb? I know they're great. Yeah, I don't know about that. And you don't even have to like shove them oh, in there. Lost you one. can just like set them in there. When we cover them up, we want to make sure they're probably standing up. This time we bought bulbs instead of seeds. And these bulbs, they're already a year old. You don't want them covered too much. You want them only covered slightly. I wouldn't do any more than that. And then as they pop through, then you can cover them up a little bit more. Onions are officially complete. Good job. No, no, no. Good job. <laughs> Hopefully they actually produce. So this is the third row. We skipped our second row because we'll be planting... What will we plant in the second one? Squashes and zucchini. Squash and zucchini will be in May. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so second row, squash and zucchini in May. We skipped it, but we measured it off and marked it down there. This third row, we've got it measured off and she's preparing the holes for broccoli. They are spaced 14 inch row, two rows at 14 inches and then 18 inches, hey kitty, hey moose, and then 18 inches long ways from each other. So you can see her little dug spots right here. Two, four, six, eight, ten is what she's on right now. So she's got her rows marked. This first one, we just planted the onions, and there's kale in it, and then she's got spinach on there also. And then second row that will be planted in about a month. And then this third row, which she doesn't have the marker put out yet. These are the, the seeds we got from Etsy. We've never tried them before, but they were on sale and they seemed like a pretty good place, so. That's my thought when I plant. Do I do one? to save and like it go as far as it can go or do I do two? You know what I'm saying? Right. Here is Jay Young's book, The Market Gardener. And our next plant is carrots. So in the back of the book he's got moose. Hey, get down. You think this is acceptable? Is this acceptable behavior? He's like, yes, it op we love it though. <laughs> so he's got a section for all the different vegetables and carrots to see how we want to plant them. It says intensive spacing, five rows spaced six inches apart, and then you plant the seed every one and a quarter inch in each row. So you can get a ton of carrots all right, ne right next to each other. We got 15 would be one row, 15 inches, that's dead middle. And then nine would be six inches from 15.
and then three and then is the what 21 yeah there's 21 and then 27, 27. right there so that's our five rows there 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 and there and we just keep going with them these are little finger carrots There's two of the two of the five rows, Doug. We're gonna do these two and then cover them up and then do the other ones. Um, Jalen's book says to do inch and a quarter spacing. Ooh, that was a close one. You got dunk them all. Yep. Normally they have a little plastic bag in there that yeah. they have them in. Whew! I think there's one right there. Do you want a handful? Yes. You got one. one. <laughs> got that right. <laughs> Whatever you don't use, we can stick back in here. As long as they're like clean and not wet. Think that's enough? Or yeah. good for now? There's our five rows of carrots. You can kind of see them tilt up a little bit. And she's starting on radishes. And they also had the five rows and same spacing as carrots. Then later, once it gets a little bit warmer, I guess, what, another month? Yeah. She wants to do sage between the carrots and the radishes and then between the carrots and what was here? Broccoli, yeah, between the carrots and broccoli. So kind of divider plants, I guess. What's the sage supposed to do to help them? Um, sage is definitely good for the broccoli to deter the aphids and little bugs and stuff. Um, and then I'm just kind of keeping it in the same row so I know where it all is. These are called Easter egg radishes. <laughs> do you know why? Nope. Probably colorful. because they look like an Easter egg. Mm. Um, no, they're all purple, and I think there's purple and white. These seeds are bigger than the carrot seeds, so they'll be easier. You sure we do the inch and a quarter spacing? Yeah. Do you want some? Sure. It's like at church, and you're passing out candy. Do you yeah. want some? This evening we have planted onions. We went ahead and measured out this row for the zucchini and squash. And in this row we planted broccoli, carrots, and radishes. Mm -hmm. And then that, there's a walkway. <laughs> and then the next row we're gonna have cauliflower and onions and I'll plant those someday this week, one day this week. I think this is the most organized and well planned out garden we we're gonna have so far, don't you? Yeah, I agree. And then here you said, you think we should just put strawberries all the way down or just like halfway and down? I don't know, you said you're wanting some um, herbs and stuff in there too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could do that. Strawberries and herbs? Yeah, I think so. I think the more strawberry plants we have, the better. Yeah, I mean. me too. That's our start of our garden this year. I guess we got two rows planted today and one kind of spaced out and planned out. And Beverly will get a few more done this week. You know how much more we got to do? You need to do this week? I guess it's not necessarily this week, it's just by the end of April. I think this row, then we skip a row. And then the next row do peas in the middle. And I think that's it. That's good until summer? Yeah. Okay.
So we got about half of it done today then. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. And then you happy well, with that? Yeah. Um think it'll be more enjoyable too next time when it's a little warmer outside. Yeah. And not twenty mile an hour wind and fifty degrees? Yeah. <laughs> well it should be a little warmer for you this week. Thanks for watching and Beverly had to film for you whenever she plants this week, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if I can remember. I'll get it all set up for you. Like you always do. See y'all next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Were you lost forever? Hmm. <laughs> hey guys. He's okay. He's okay. Hey, little one. Here's my puppy. See? She like. She wants me. Mm. She wants to stay with us forever. She knows I saved her life when she got too hot. She's the fattest one. Hey guys.